imagine yourself having a cup of coffee. Before that, you have given yourself a chance to inhale the delicious coffee fragrance. Have you ever wondered what components made up this addicting aroma? And how are these components are even extracted from the gaseous state of the aroma? Assalamualaikum and hi! My name is Siti Norlisa and I am here to answer all those questions in my final year project presentation titled Analysis of Volatile Organic Compounds VOCs in Coffee Using Solid Based Micro Extraction SPME and Gas Chromatography Mass Spectrometry GCMS. Based on the previous studies, the delicious coffee aroma is actually made up of pyrazines, furans, phenols, acids, alcohols, ester, aldehydes, ketones, and nitrogen containing compounds. In extracting these VOCs, there are several extraction techniques that could be used, such as static headspace, SHS, dynamic headspace, DHS, and solid phase microextraction, SPME. However, I will only be focusing on SPME since this is the method that I have chosen in this study. SPME involves the exposure of fiber to the sample for a certain period amount of time before it is dissolved into the GC injector pod. There are two types of SPME which are direct immersion SPME and headspace SPME. The latter involves the exposure of the fiber to the headspace of the sample while the direct immersion of the fiber to the sample is related to the former. In this study, the implementation of HS SPME or headspace SPME is chosen given that direct immersion SPME or DI SPME is only applicable for liquid samples. SPME efficiency is influenced by various type of factors such as pH, salt addition, matrix condition, extraction time, desorption time, extraction temperature, and type of fiber. SPME has been adapted as the extraction techniques for various types of foods. However, the absence of standard protocols of this method for various types of analytes makes it very important for researchers to develop this method to achieve optimal results for each type of analyte. However, there is very limited method development studies regarding SPME extraction for VOCs in coffee. This is why it is very important for researchers to conduct the optimization of SPME parameters in order to determine the optimal conditions for efficient extraction for VOCs in coffee. The significance of this study is that HS SPME or Headspace SPME is used due to its rapidity and efficiency and optimization of SPME parameters is conducted to increase its efficacy, simultaneously increasing the extraction yield. Not to mention, the identification of VOCs in aroma of coffee is made possible via GCMS. So, the objective of this study is to determine the best fiber for extraction of VOC from coffee and also to establish the optimal conditions for the analysis of VOCs from coffee using SPME and GCMS. In conducting this study, the methodology is divided into two parts, which are selection of best fiber and optimization of SPME parameters. The best fiber needs to be chosen first since the type of fiber and analyte will actually influence the performance of SPME. First of all, the coffee powder is purchased and weighed using an analytical balance in an SPME file. Only then, the file will be put in the water bath. The setup of SPME extraction is shown in the picture beside me. The extraction time and temperature set would be for 30 minutes at 50 degrees Celsius before it is dissolved into the GC injector pot for 3 minutes. The first part of methodology study three types of fiber, which are PDMS, PDMSDBB, and PA. For the second part of the experiment, experimental design are chosen rather than one factor at a time or offered as the optimization method. CCD or central composite design is employed to study the effect of extraction time and extraction temperature towards the efficiency of SPME. The values are set in the range of 20 to 30 minutes and 40 to 70 degrees Celsius respectively based on the previous studies. And the generated parameters values given by design expert are shown in the figure beside me. These are the values that I have set in the second part of my experiment with the same desorption time as the first part. The chosen response, which are caffeine and cyclohexanthyroxine tetradecamectin, are used for analysis of variants or ANOVA. For the first part of the study, the best fiber is selected by comparing the profile obtained using these three types of fiber. As you can see, PDMS-DVB demonstrates the most peaks 
and managed to extract the most compound out of the tree since it is a bipolar fiber which makes it the best fiber to proceed for the next part of the study. This is the results of ANOVA and as we can see that the model is significant while the lack of it is insignificant. Coupled with a high value of coefficient of determination R squared, we can actually conclude that there is a good fit of data to the model and the model is valid. Next, we can also see that A has a p-value greater than 0.05 while B has a lesser value than 0.05. This means that extraction temperature is significant while extraction time has no effect towards the efficiency of SPNE. It can be observed in the 3D surface design plot here. As you can see, the output increases as the extraction temperature increases. However, it remains constant or increase in a very insignificant amount as the extraction time increases. We can also see that the maximum output is obtained at the maximum temperature and time, which is at 70 degrees Celsius for 30 minutes. This correlates with the optimal condition suggested by the software with a desirability of 0.763 for SPME conditions parameters. As I stated, coffee has this distinctive aroma that contributes to its high consumption, and this pie chart shows the percentage composition of VOCs in that said aroma. As we can see, furan contributes the most percentage composition in the aroma and it emits vegetal and earthy smell. There's also phenols and pyrazine with its spicy, clove like and roasted smell. In conclusion, the key contributors to coffee aroma will be furans, phenols and pyrazines. Next, the best SPME fiber for extraction of VOCs in coffee is also determined in this study, which is PDMS DPB with an optimal condition of 70 degrees Celsius for 30 minutes. Improvement can be done by changing the manual SPME method to automated SPME to reduce human error. Next, other SPME parameters can also be studied, such as pH, salt addition, and desorption time. This is the list of references used for this presentation. That's all from me. Thank you for your attention. For Q&A session, I am open to various types of methods such as Google Meet, WhatsApp, message and even emails. Thank you again. Assalamualaikum.